Eureka! The Story of Archimedes' Discovery Archimedes lived in Greece more than 2,000 years ago. He was a mathematician and inventor who had become famous for many of his ideas. Archimedes was such a talented scientist that he was able to uncover a fraud. Here's how it happened. A king had given a goldsmith some pure gold and asked him to make a crown. But when the king got the crown back, he heard rumors that the goldsmith may have stolen part of the pure gold and added silver. To keep the king from suspecting anything, the goldsmith made sure that the silver and gold crown weighed as much as the gold he had been given. Even so, the king knew that something was wrong. He just had no way to prove it. The king turned to Archimedes for help. He asked Archimedes to think of a way to find out whether the crown whether the crown was pure gold without damaging the crown. Archimedes worked very hard on the problem, but he couldn't come up with a solution. Then one day, when Archimedes was sitting in his bath, he noticed that the water level rose as more and more of his body sank under the water. This gave Archimedes an idea about how to find out whether the crown was pure gold. He jumped out of the bath and ran through the town yelling, Eureka! Eureka! which means, I've got it, I've got it. He was so excited that he forgot to put his clothes on. Archimedes had thought of an ingenious plan. He knew that gold weighs more than an equal amount of silver, just as aluminum weighs more than an equal amount of clay. He figured that if a silver object, such as the crown, weighed the same as a gold object, the silver object would have to be a little bigger. It would take up more space. He knew that if both objects were lowered at one at a time into a bucket of water, the silver object would make the water rise more than the gold. The same would be true if the crown was made of a mixture of gold and silver. Archimedes weighed the crown by balancing it with bars of pure gold. Then he lowered the pure gold into a bucket of water and marked how high the water rose. If the crown was made of pure gold, it would make the water rise the same amount. However, when the crown was lowered into the water, it rose more than the pure gold bars had made it rise. This meant that some silver must have been mixed with the gold to make the crown. It also meant that the goldsmith was guilty of cheating the king and stealing some of the gold. Archimedes had solved the mystery.